Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Again, I'm back with another interesting question on network theory. So if you want more questions like this, you can follow this series and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this uh, type of concept videos. Uh, so I will bring more of them. So let's start with today's question. So this question is pretty simple. Just you have to find the source voltage. Okay. Uh, expression. If the current I of T is given like this. Now, this is a second order circuit, so you can't just do it like simply, okay, with the simple exponential response and all that. As this is a second order circuit, we have to go step by step without using Laplace, can you solve it without using Laplace? So, here they have given me the current I of T, right? They've given me the current I of T, and I have to find Vs. How will I find Vs? If I find total drop across this whole combination, right, that will be my Vs. Now, I know this. Well, I can know this voltage. This voltage will be simply one times this current. So which is the voltage, which is the voltage across the capacitor. And if I know the voltage across the capacitor, I will be able to simply compute the current across the capacitor as voltage and current are related with just a differentiation with the capacitor. Then I will find this current and this current is through this inductor current, uh, inductor circuit. So uh, I can also compute the voltage for this, right? If I know the current, I can compute the voltage for this, which is simple, simple differentiation. And if I know the current, I know the voltage for this resistor. And overall, I will be able to compute my voltage Vs. Okay, like that, we'll proceed. So obviously, they were given me I of t equals to this. So if I just mark the this voltage as Vc, so Vc of t will be simply C, uh, not C, uh, will be simply equals to this, right? Uh, I of t times 1, I of t times 1. So what is I of t? I of t is 10 e raised to power minus 2t okay and this is my vc now what is my ic ic will be simply ict will be simply c dvc by dt okay so c is 1 so it will be minus 20 e raised to power minus 2t okay this will be my ict so my ict is this ict okay so what is my is of t what is my is of t so my is of t is simply i of t plus i c t so i of t they have given me as 10 e raised to power minus 2 t and i c of t is minus 20 e raised to power minus 2 t so this will be minus 10 e raised to power minus 2 t so uh, this is what i s of t is now, if I know IS, this is simply equals to my IL of T as well, right? Because it's simply the source current itself. So, IL of T equals to minus 10 e raised to power minus 2T. I know what is VL of T. VL of T is equals to LDIL by DT. LDIL by DT. So, this will be L is 1 into minus 10 into minus 20. Sorry, minus 2 e raised to power minus 2T. This will be simply... 20 raised to power minus 2t okay so this is my vl now what is my v this vr vr will be simply simply 1 into is of t which is minus 10 raised to power minus 2t now what will be my vs vs will be vr of t vs of t plus VL of T plus VC of T. So VR of T is simply minus e raised to power minus 2T plus VL is simply plus 20 into e raised to power minus 2T plus uh, your IS uh, uh, sorry VC of T is what VC of T is 10 e raised to power minus 2T. Okay. So uh yeah this will be simply your answer vs of t simply 20 raised to power minus of 40 volt so this is pretty simple you can solve it using laplace as well but you don't need to go to the laplace without even going into the laplace can you solve it with just differential equation that was the most important part so this will be the answer to this question that your voltage expression vs will be 20 into e raised to power minus 20 volts thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video